Uwe. That's very good German name. Yes. It's a traditional German <laughs> a traditional name. German name. Yes. From the north of Germany. Henning, from the very north of Germany. I guess. Are we already running? We're keeping this in there. Hello, Nutzos. No pedals but guitars. You know, we had Gamble, Neue Eröffnung, Opening. And Sasha was really cool enough to invite the competition. How cool is that? They're all kind of doing stuff together. And here's Uwe. Uwe from Tonefuchs Guitars. Tonefuchs. Um, you would translate that to Tone Fox, I guess. Cool name. Uwe. Cool guy. He's just like chilling out, like, yeah, whatever. Let the guy talk. Yeah. And that's the plan. Let the guy talk. And let the guy talk. How much we can understand here, that, which is why I'm yelling. That's why I'm yelling. Um, we'll see. So, we have some beautiful, we're gonna call them T-style. Because, you know, we don't want to get into trouble with the big F. What's the big F? What's the big F? That's a good question. Something sexual. <laughs> something sexual. Yes, the big F is something sexual. <laughs> I've been warned by the big F not to say Telecaster. Telecaster. Yeah, you don't know what that is, right? No, never heard. So this thing is a single cut, flat top, <clears throat> beautifully shaped. So we have, what wood do we have here? It's a one piece mahogany body. Mahogany tea style. Interesting. It's li lightly aged with some cracks. Lightly, yes. Yeah. And the hamburger, which is very cool. So it's definitely not the a typical country-ish kind of guitar. This no. is this is more like a rock thing. And um, was the intention. But we have some elements that are classic, like the T-style bridge, but not the long one. This very nice details. I love the aging on these. What uh, brand are they? Hmm? Lundgren. Lundgren. That is even more north because you're know, Uwe from the north, Henning from the north, even though I live in the south. And then Lundgren. Where they're from? Sweden. North! Um, I can see, I know f a few things about guitars now because for some reason I deal with that every day, so I'm learning that there's a tiny little, tiny little thing there. Not my, not my tiny little thing, you perverts. I'm talking about this tiny little thing. Which means there is no truss rod cover here, which means that the breakability of the headstock, please correct me if I'm wrong, that the breakability of the headstock has been greatly reduced because you don't have to drill in here. So you access the truss rod from here. Am I correct about this? Absolutely correct. I've learned a few things last year <laughs> talking to people like that. So you mentioned earlier, oh, this is cool. There's a fox in here. You said this is Chilicote. Yes. What are the characteristics of that wood? Uh, you've got a, a fast attack. Okay. And it's very balanced in the sound. And with a combination of uh, mahogany, you've got the bottom from the mahogany and the, the really highs and the crisp meats from the, so it, from the neck. Is it similar to... Uh, I always want to say palisander. Rosewood? Rosewood. Uh, because rosewood has a fast attack. I know yes, that. but rosewood uh, produces more mids. Okay. So, but the mids you get from the body. Okay. So we got the attack here and a nice round but also midsy sound from here. So even though this looks like a traditional T style for those who like that style, it, it shouldn't sound at all like a traditional T style, right? This one, no. Yeah. I very much like the headstock. It's very difficult to go original, and I think he manages to do that. Um, but this is my original headstock. Very cool. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, no. No. Okay, he doesn't know these. He's like, what? Um, and handwritten. Look at this handwritten model number, and it's called the Love Caster. That is sexual. A little bit. I mean, for us, you know, for us, holding a guitar, that is a sexual thing. It's not, it's not something we need, it's something we want. We have a desire. 
You need yeah. gas, you need uh, food. But if you want you, you to play to... guitar, you need it. Yes, but something like this, you desire. Back in the day, I could go into Macy's, I could walk into a department store and buy it, an Electro, I had a guitar, I did the job. But what, you know, what we're dealing with here, this, these are things that we save up for, we celebrate. That's why we go to places like this, because we celebrate guitars. It's something you not really need, but you already have to want. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's my job to make you guys want it. Um, we have, what are the, the tuners here? Goto. Goto, but uh, vintage style, let's call it that. Very nice, and off, um, I love that there's no inlays. Because uh, for us guitar players, we look here. So I, 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 I like the cleanliness, and of course the wood is beautiful. Terracotta. Yes. Beautiful. What would I have to pay for this? Uh, this one is 4,200. 4,200, okay. I would say pricey, but I can't really say pricey because I haven't played it. And it's all handmade in Germany by Shermans. You know, Sherman quality. Of course. Of course, but, I mean... But the most important thing are the parts exactly put together. Mm -hmm. But uh, you have to store the wood for a long time. And it, this quality is really rare to get. So uh, also the neck. Mm -hmm. um, I can make your guitar a little bit less in mm -hmm. price, but not with this kind of specs. So instead of like the big companies going having your big ass drying and whatever, pulling the moisture all, out things, you actually just buy the wood yeah. and put it behind your shed for how, many actually, years. I'm in the lucky situation that I have. Uh, uh, wood store. Uh, wood storage. Uh, mm -hmm. Wood store. Uh, that is uh, as big as I. I never can make, I, I never can finish so much guitars. You, you'll never run it, out of wood. It will be empty, mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is, uh, it's necessary for my work to have the best material. Mm -hmm. And it's the only way I have to keep it for myself in many years and, uh, and dry them slowly and put it together which to is, the guitar. Which is when we're talking, let's say, PRS, for example. You can buy a POS, spend 4,000 bucks, but then you get one where the wood actually has been uh, dried and moisture has been sucked out of it through vacuum processes, all this. Which, in, uh, which brings us some nice guitars, but when you want the really, really good shit, the wood that Paul has stored in his private vault, then that's what we're talking about. And then we're looking at guitars that start at like 8,000 bucks. And so, I mean, even even with the with the big companies, yes, you can get the air dried, long time dried wood, but they're gonna ask for ridiculous prices. Um, yeah, but also the big companies they they tell you this, mm -hmm. so we keep it a long time. But um, for example, the the big company with the G, I don't, I forget the name. I don't know G. Yeah. They made uh, get gender. Made, yeah, I don't know. Um, they make uh, so many guitars every day, so it's <laughs> impossible to uh, to store them uh, the, the material for such a long time. It's impossible. And uh, they would probably need a whole town of wood storage. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, only a marketing thing. Uh, I think in English the, the word is bullshit. Is the word? I think so. It could be. Yeah. yeah. So, some company with G that I don't know what it's called, you don't even remember? No. Bullshit. I think so. It's not bullshit, but uh, you have to pay uh, a double the price uh, to get a really good guitar. It's not impossible, but you also have to be uh, lucky. And the smaller builder obviously doesn't have the, the facilities to even have the big vacuum, dry something, pump. So they're kind of forced to do it the old-fashioned way, which results in the traditional guitar, which you're going to have to fork over 4,000 bucks for, but it feels nice. I mean, I, uh, when the cameras are off, I'm going to play a whole bunch in the room here, and I will report on that later. So let's look at something else. I'm going to throw this somewhere. Oh, yep. More guitars coming in. This one's broken. Look at this. It's all fucked up. Educate me. 
Jag and Jazzmaster. I've always been an S-type guitar guy. I've had Ibanez's and Strats, whatever. But I can never tell them apart. W what is this based on? It's based, based on. It's based on the copy of a Jazzmaster. Jazzmaster. But what does the Jaguar look like? Is that different? Yes. Okay. I, I, I somehow don't... If you see it like this, it seems to be similar, but okay. uh, if, you, if you put the outlines mm -hmm. uh, laid over the Jazzmaster or Jaguar, it's different. I, I actually have to look that up because I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to those guitars. Brett Kingman in Australia is the Jazzmaster Kingman. He has loads of them. So at some at some point I'm gonna hang out with him and he's gonna ex educate me about the jazz masters. Brett, you're the man. Um, nice and light. Yeah. What woods do we have here? Uh, Swampish body. Okay. Uh, the curly maple neck. Hard maple. Oh, beautiful! Let's see if we can show that. Beautiful neck, and you can also see the wavy lines of the headstock. Okay. Five screws for reasons of unevenness. That's probably, you know, four, five, better than four. This is all very technical talk here, I know. Um, it also uh, would keep in place uh, with four screws, but I use five. Why not? Why not? But, but, exactly. Um, I would use uh, six screws, but there is no space <laughs> for it. Put one right here. Right here in the middle. You have to jump over it. Maybe next time. Ob obstacle this. guitar. The obstacle guitar. Put a razor blade right here. I don't know. Um, Lundgren again? No, uh, these are Nick Silver pickups from Athens. Never heard of the guy. Nick Silver? Yes. Hey Nick, looks nice. And it sounds nice. Wait. Hell yeah. Maybe you have to... Uh, ah, ah. Wait, wait, now. Yeah, that's a good pickup. It would be completely pointless to record anything here because these nutsels are very loud. Big and fat neck. Yes. Always. Nice. The tone's gotta come from somewhere. Probably it'd have to be the neck. <laughs> Very nice shape of the pickguard. You definitely have a sense for shape. Maybe, I hope yeah, so. Well, yeah. yeah. No, trust me. Trust me, I know things. Okay. I'm saying you have... Trust me, you can take that to the bank. I trust you. <laughs> very, very nice. So that's the Bulldog. What's the price range on the Bulldog? Nicely aged like this, because the guitar like this needs to be aged. You, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's brand new. <laughs> it, uh, but it needs to look like this. Yeah. Uh, it starts at uh, about 3,000 euros. Okay. Very neat. And again, nothing in the... No, nothing can, in the fretboard. Uh, it's possible, like here, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, also it's all, it's custom. Yeah, but for my uh, personal taste, I don't like that. Yeah, same, same here. And I again, it, uh, simple. The truss rod, again, accessible from down here, but covered with a nice piece of wood. Nice piece of wood. We can look at the gold toppy one. Not aged this time, right? Ah, a little bit. I call it patina finish. Ah, yeah, no. This is just like the hard thing I've got at home. From a certain angle you don't see the cracks at all. Yeah. And from another angle all of a sudden it's it's actually very difficult to photograph. I know, yeah. <laughs> I, I try to take it's photos of the hard and I'm standing in front of it and it looks and then I look at the picture, no yeah. cracks. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's, yeah. Whoa! You can kill someone with that neck. If you want to, yeah. <laughs> You guys can't hear how fat that rings, but just trust me, it does. So we got open, open tuners. Auto. Very neat. It's kind of a reversed pickguard. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. But very cool shape. And you went with the big speed. Now, what I don't quite understand. I've never had anything with the Bixby except the butterfly from Quenzel that I tested. Remember, if not, 
butterfly, Quenzel, my video, very cool, in a beautiful green. And Marcus had the mastery bridge on there. Yeah. So everyone's talking about mastery, 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 because apparently for the big speed, that's yeah. the way to go. Now, the strings are being pulled over the saddle, uh, the, the, the bridge, isn't the it? The bridge is more expensive. The bridge is more expensive to me. So I push this down. Yeah. Yeah. See, it goes forward, backwards, just a little bit. Okay, so the strings are not going rip, rip over? No, no, no. Because that's what I never understand with the big speed. Yeah, no, no, no. In my mind, it always the, was... The, the original big speed bridge. Uh, got a rounded uh, uh, bottom, mm -hmm. so it can move uh, very easily. Ah, okay. But it also works with the two nomadic. You never have uh, tuning problems with that. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a, a myth. Okay, and these are Lola. Oh, that's that's Marcus's favorite favorite friend. Yeah, regularly I use Lola. So I uh, have a good connection to Jason. Mm -hmm. Also do some custom stuff for me, uh, but sometimes I try uh, other brands from Sweden, from Athens, yeah. Greece, wherever. If it's good, I use it. What's the string gauge on here? Tens? No, it's eleven. So yeah. Because uh, I, I borrowed this guitar from Alex Auer. Okay. He's the owner, and, uh, but I have only two available instruments at the moment. I said, I, can I borrow this for for today? And he likes his fatter strings. Yeah, he uses eleven. I played 11 for quite a while and now I'm back to 10s, except on all these shreddy guitars, uh, that's 9s. Uh, of course I don't shred that much anymore, so those guitars hang on the wall and look pretty. And you guys know that, you know, Dario NYXL, have you tried the NYXL? No. I'm not just... I'm not just saying that because Javier Zulau from Dario is my friend and I get them for free. No, they are actually... Dadario. We do a lot of Dadario in my video. Have I mentioned Dadario enough to get more strings? Javier, Dadario. Um, no, they are. They, they, they are coated? No, they're not. It's a different kind of steel. They are very, very hard to break. And even though they're not coated, for some reason that steel doesn't degrade that much. Uh, I, on the uh, Hartung, I've played that regularly. It's, the strings are on this since Christmas. Still feels new. Okay. Uh, for some reason, you, I usually, you know, I put like a fast fret or something on there, yeah. and with these, you do it a lot less, okay. and they have a little bit pronounced higher mid range, or somewhere in the mid, it's, there's a little bit of a bump. Okay. Um, they are 15 bucks a pack, it's quite pricey, but they're great, and uh, check out the balance tension. Balance tension. Because that's simply just the, the gauges are slightly changed so that each string has exactly the same pull. Okay. Uh, NYXL BT runs you about $14.99 a pack, but everyone was tried. Not, Not for you. Not for you. Javier, hook, it. hook a brother up, come on. Um, no, uh, very, very nice strings, and uh, I'm very happy. It, on the guitars that I put them on, it's just. It's fun. You don't feel like. You know, when you, when you have strings that have been on there for two weeks, and all of a sudden you see them slightly getting darker. But it's uh, stainless steel? Uh, I would. They call it New York steel. New York steel. Which is of course a total bullshit thing for saying we're cool, it's New York. I have no idea what that means. But they play nice, the balance tension is great, and they do not uh, degrade or, or lose the sound, even though they're not coated. Okay. They, they did something I'll good. Them out and yeah, let you definitely. Know. Yeah. Let's do that. But if it's bullshit, I also let you know. Yeah, you call me on it, please. Yeah. Someone actually said I, that. I, 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 on one video, I. Um, I said, I, I love these, and then a friend of mine said, I put them on, I immediately ripped them off, they were total bullshit. But then Javier is cool enough on Facebook, and he comes in and he comments and says, oh no, let me hook you up, try again. Yeah. Guys from the Dario are pretty cool. You got, I really gotta yeah, say I, that. I, I use the Dario strings. So I have no problem with, yeah. the, with the, the company, uh, but I never tried the NYXL. I'm, 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 very, uh, I'm very happy with them, really. Okay. Because I feel I don't have to change them so much. And you told me uh, before I can trust you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I could be totally bullshitting you. I could I be try it out. No, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm always honest. I will tell you immediately if it's crap. Also, the DR Superbrights are not bad. 
Uh, you tried them before, but really the, the NYXL, I think they're... I mean the, I mean the, the DA company, uh, uh, also from the Dunlop. Uh, no, uh, yeah, the Dunlop. Dunlop Superbright, yeah. not bad, but then I changed them to the NYXL and that's really, they're fun. Okay. They sound great. All the, all the guitars that they're on, I play. I like playing. You should also try uh, to get a, a bulb, so they are not rolled the strings. Oh, okay. And it sounds also different. Really? Yeah. Javier, Bulk NYXL. Let's talk, brother. Because Very if you nice. roll the strings, you damage something inside mm -hmm. a little I, bit. I can imagine. Yeah, the, the difference is not so much, but you can hear it. What if they're rolled up for a long time at the store, yeah. and, and then you... I can totally imagine that. Yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, Price-wise with the Bixby, with what the are we Bixby, looking at? It's also about, uh, I guess, four, nearly four and a half. Four and a half thousand bucks? Yeah, yes. Again, fully handmade in Germany, aged wood, not aged. And it, it, it's the original mahogany, it's not the, the African uh, PRS because you told something about PRS. Mm. They use the African mahogany. Mm. It's the Kaya? It's also from Africa, mm -hmm. but it, it, with Kaya you have a, it's very light, so a lot of people like that material, and it's really um, resonating. But uh, a lot of things by playing are not possible with this material. Really? Yeah. Okay. So what is this called? This mahogany. It's Swetenya. Swetenya. Okay. Yeah. Because there's Honduras mahogany and Swetenya mahogany. Yeah, so you can call it Honduras or so Honduran mahogany ah, okay. or Swetenya, but it's the same. Uh, ah, the same thing, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you got that from when it was still legal? I have CITES for all yeah. my uh, guitars made of this material, so it's not uh, like a company with a G or anything. Um, yeah, so if you, if you buy a guitar with that material, you get the, the CITES mm -hmm. uh, number, so it's everything legal and in 20 years you don't have a problem. Because, you know, actually I heard that uh, Thomas Blug had serious trouble with this, what, what's his strat? 69, 68 or something? Yeah. He's got a really old Strat and they actually held him at the airport because that old Strat had a um, uh, Brazilian, Brazilian rosewood fretboard and they wouldn't let him in with a vintage Strat. Yeah, yeah it's a, and the problem is, uh, is much more deeper because um, uh, now the Brazilian rosewood is in category A, like uh, ivory, mm -hmm. so oh. it's very... It's this Strat? Yes, okay. yes, it's the same, uh, the same thing and uh, this is uh, in category B. But you can count the time uh, in a few years until that goes into A. into A, and then you have the same trouble everywhere. But I mean, imagine you, you have this really old guitar, and now all of a sudden he travels with it always, and then he's been asked, well, show a certificate for that. Where is he going to get a certificate for 68 Strat? And I think he actually had to get it tested or something. It was it, I heard yeah. that it was a pretty big deal. Yeah. Well, Uwe, thanks so much. Thank you. Down here, Tone Fox Guitars, what is the, what's the website? www.tonefox.com Tonefox.com, that's easy enough. Right here, link under the video, check it out. I'm going to go get more coffee. They were out of coffee earlier, that's just wrong. And um, we're going to look at more builders right here on the couch with me. Go away now.